everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a tutorial on this look using the Sweet Peach Palette. Hold on, let me grab it. So I am using the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette, I'm using the Too Faced Sweet Peach Blush, I can't even speak, and I'm also using a lip oil by Too Faced. I don't have the highlighter one because I didn't think it was needed and necessary to pick up. If you don't know who I am, hello, my name is Pedro and welcome to my channel. I actually have a giveaway going on in my channel right now and it's ending pretty soon and it's in the description box below. So if you want to watch it and you want to win, you gotta go watch the video and find out what you gotta do. It's pretty easy, all you really have to do is be subscribed to my channel, but if you wanna know what you're gonna win, it's in the description box below. All the products I speak about are in the description box below as well. Video, obviously not sponsored, should be sponsored. I need to be Too Faced, like, first male, like, spokesperson. Like, not spokesperson, but like, ambassador. Or like, the cover girl boy. You know how James Charles is the cover girl of cover girl? I need to be like, the cover girl of Too Faced, like. Jared girl, where you at? Look at this. I first want to say that this video is really late. I know the Too Faced collection came out a long time ago. They're actually coming out with the Too Faced Peaches and Cream collection from like lips and eyeshadows and I think there's a foundation and a bunch of other stuff and I am so excited and you know girl, I am in there for those reviews. If you've never watched me before, I want to let you know girl that my reviews are always 100%. I don't play that. I don't lie. There's no need. No one can pay me enough money because truth comes out in the end and I'm not trying to sound like a liar to nobody. So everything I'm saying is real and it's true. So if you look behind me, that box right there is actually the box that came in this palette. It's so cute. I had to have it on display. You are right now. So when you open this, it comes with a mirror. It says Too Faced Sweet Peach. Cute little peach guy over there. Here are all the colors. Absolutely gorgeous. We got the peach shades. We got a green. We got purples. Purples and green eyes like me. Gorgeous. I didn't do it today, but gorgeous. We got the nice lighter colors. We got some browns. This palette is really good for every day. Truthfully, if you feel like you're one person that needs to get a one-time palette and you never want to get another palette, ever again just one this is a very good option for you if you didn't know Too Faced is actually my favorite brand they always have the creamiest shadows everything is just so gorgeous I love the packaging I love what they stand for Too Faced honestly like marry me Too Faced marry me I want to marry the brand so this palette retails for $49 there are 18 shades and each shade holds 0.03 ounces Next in the Too Faced Sweet Peach collection that I own, I have the Papa Don't Peach blush. I love this blush. It's so pretty. Like, guys, I love this blush. It's, it's honestly, I'm not going to lie, this might be my favorite blush of all time. The only downside to this, this blush itself, one blush, I know, is $30. I know what you're thinking, that's so expensive. I know, I know, but it's just so beautiful and I had to have it and it's mine and I love it. So this is called the Papa Don't Peach Blush and it has 0 0.36, 32, 32 ounces in here. This is a very peachy blush, obviously sweet peach. It's gorgeous, guys. I love peach blushes more than anything. Peach blushes are my favorite types of blushes. There's not any other type of blush that I like more than peach blush. I love the NARS Orgasm, but I honestly have to say that this color blush the peachy tones are the best tones gorgeous 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 and it comes with a mirror so I guess that can make it worth the $30 because you know you got a nice quality mirror in there and it's just an amazing beautiful shade I'll be using it in my tutorial and you guys can see that and this blush holds 0.32 ounces lots of product in here comes with a mirror pretty pretty packaging is it worth $30 We'll find out. Next, we're going to be talking about the Too Faced Sweet Peach Oils. I love their oils. So moisturizing. Smells like peaches. Everything smells like peaches. It smells amazing, guys. And if you haven't smelled one, go to Sephora. Open it up. Take a whiff. On my hand right now, I have peach teas. And then back there, I actually own peach teas, peach sickle, peach please and pure peach i want to get all the other ones there's actually eight of them and i eventually will but as of right now these were my go-to shades and i was like need 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 they're 19 dollars each and they hold 0 0.14 ounces I'm actually quickly going to be comparing it to the Kylie Cosmetics Royal Peach Palette because you guys are asking me to do that and that will be in the end of the video so keep watching for that. So if you want to learn how to recreate today's look using the Sweet Peach products and if you want to see my final review then just keep on watching. Okay so now let's go in with this bad boy finally getting started with the look. Everything that I already have on my face is linked down below. My foundation, my concealer, my face powder, my everything linked down below. Y'all already know. I'm going to be going in with my E22 brush. As you guys know, I love my blending brushes. All my brushes that I use are from Morphe. Sorry about it, but they are. They're just cheap, 
and they're bomb and they're professional. So get these. I love the E22 and I love this one, the M433. This is probably my favorite out of all the Morphe brushes is the M433. But the M433, as you can tell, is dirty as hell. So I might use it, I might not use it, we'll see. So let's just dip into this color right here. It's called White Peach. And baby girl, let me move my mirror. Baby girl, ooh, baby, bitch. Bitch, I said it already, girl. This palette is already amazing. Look at the pigment on that white. I hope you guys can see it because I'm gonna sound so stupid if you guys can't. Guys, I can legit smell all of the peach scents entering my home. And I have that candle behind me and it's like pina colada or whatever, or pina colada, whatever you guys wanna call it. But all I I don't know, I can't smell the candle, but I could smell the peach palette. By the way, I just got a backdrop. Oh, you guys are gonna die when it's up, it's so pretty. Just a quick tip, we want the eyeshadow to be blended, and I know I should do like an in-depth video on this, but I'm just gonna go right now because I've seen a few people recently um, and their eyeshadow was just way too sharp, but girl, if that's how you want to rock it, that's how you want to rock it. I don't mean sharp this way, I mean not blended. So, the tip to that is building up your colors. I always put the white first, then I'm going to go on my transition shade. After that, I'm going to put another shade. You have to build up, guys. It's like a rainbow. Like an ombre rainbow. Otherwise, if you don't do that, one, it's going to be hard as hell to blend, and two, it's just going to be that one color, like, bam, there, not blended. Horrible. Sorry. Okay, my family, now we are going to go on to the color <gasps> Georgia. Georgia. I'm literally like 20 years old, but I am just the oldest soul ever. I'm literally that person that would rather hang out with someone that's like 65 than hang out with someone that's my age. Sorry about it. Okay, so I'm just going to try to keep this on my crease. Obviously, it's not that pigmented because it's a lighter color. There's pigment there, girl, don't you lie. But we want to build, like I said, we want to build. If we don't build, Hannah, it's not going to look good. With the same brush, we are still going to be dipping into Georgia. Georgia. Okay, I'll stop. Just like lightly run that down your lower lash line. Like, why not? Okay, so next I'm gonna be going in with my M433 by Morphe, and this is the one I said was dirty. And I'm gonna be dipping into Caramelize right next to Georgia. <laughs> Tap that out. Blow that out, girl. Blow that out. And I'm just gonna try to keep that on the outer V of my eyes. This is a really like pretty satin color. It's not like glittery, but it does have some shimmer to it. And I usually, I just fucked up. Fuck me, bitch. What am I supposed to do? Okay, so I just messed up on this eye right here and I'm pissed about it. So I'm gonna wipe it with a makeup wipe. I shouldn't be doing that because I already have stuff on my face, but girl, we gonna make it work. For this, I kind of just like to wrap it around my finger like this. If you have acrylic nails, you're lucky because it makes it even easier. And then you just wipe. Also, if you want to know what makeup wipe I'm using, it's this right here. It's not even a makeup wipe. Signature care quality guaranteed feminine wipes. Now I'm just going to stick my bare finger into this color right here. It's called Bellini. And I'm going to place it all in my lid. For my lower lash line, I'm just going to take a Georgia and a candied peach. Why not? Let's do these two. And just run it all down there. And for my inner corner, I'm going to be taking Luscious up here, and I'm using my E36 brush, which is my inner corner brush. It's the perfect brush for your inner corner, guys. I'm going to be taking my Morphe M321 brush, and I'm going to be dipping it into Nectar right here, and this is going to go right under my brow bone. Since this is a Too Faced video, I'm going to be applying my Better Than Sex mascara, but Too Faced video or not, you guys know I use this all the time. Then I'm just going to be applying off camera my Lily Lashes in a style of Miami, my favorite lashes in the description box below. You guys know I love this. Okay, so the lashes are now on and let's move on to the next thing, which is this, the blush. We're going on a trip to a little party shit. And I'm going in with my E4 by Morphe. Let's just pat this on. This looks really pretty. Oh my god, guys, I think I put too much. I'm 
then for my highlight, I'm going to be using this. It's also by Too Faced, and it's called the Prismatic Highlighters, I think. And this is in the color Blinded by the Light. This highlight right here is more of like a subtle glow type of look. So if you're into something beaming, um, you can try to build it up. I feel like in person it shows more than it does on camera. And for lips, I'm going to be using this bad boy right here. As you can tell, it was back there and then I went and grabbed it. This is in the color Peach Tees, also by Too Faced. They smell so amazing. They are so amazing. Then we're just going to set our face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And this is the finished look, guys. I hope you guys like it. I love peachy looks. They're so cute. They're great for the spring. They're great for the summer. They're great for every day. I love the whole Too Faced collection. If you feel like you're like, oh my god, should I buy it? Should I not buy it? I say go for it. A lot of people actually wanted me to review this one and this one to see which one is better. Um, I love them both. This one has like a royal blue. I feel like this one has more browns and purples. This one doesn't really. They're two totally different palettes. If you're a makeup queen, then girl, get both. But if you're not a makeup queen I'm sorry Kylie but I think I might pick this one and the only reason being is because it has more shades and I feel like you know you can play around with that but then again I don't know guys just get them both so the palette is definitely approved by me I love the palette I love the shades I love the scent I love everything about it there's not a problem with it I feel like I sometimes say I love things way too much and I don't want anybody to think I'm lying but I really do love it like I'm not gonna lie though shades that have glitter in it that's never been my thing but there's only like a few in this and it doesn't bother me at all so truthfully I love this palette for the blush I also love the blush I think the packaging is wicked cute I love the color of it I love how I look I feel like I look like like a peachy goddess the only problem with this is that this blush itself by itself nothing else is $30 if you want to spend the extra $30 Go for it. But I love it, so if you feel like you like this look, I would go for this. But if you don't want to spend the 30, just don't even. The peach oils, I love the peach oils by Too Faced. I have no problem with them. They could sometimes be a little bit streaky. All you gotta do is pat them in with your finger, then clean up your finger and you look fine. Like how I look now, it doesn't look too bad, it looks fine. I love the scent, I love how they feel on the lips. They feel moisturizing, they don't feel too sticky. And I hate sticky lip glosses. I'm trying to like them, I don't like them at all. And this does not do that, so I do approve these as well. And there's a little sticker guy at the top and he's so cute. The only thing I didn't get in the collection is the highlighting kit. It comes with a bronzer, a highlighter, and a blush. Um, I feel like since I got that other blush, I didn't really need it, but I went and I swatched the highlighter at Sephora one time and I love it, so I might get it just for the highlighter. But then again, I don't know, I need to relax. It's like $42 just for that and it's just like not doing it for me 100%. But that is it for today's video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. I had a lot of fun filming today's video because I was singing and talking and I've just been in the mood. I'm going to the gym and I'm getting better and I'm going to be perfect. And if you guys want me to review any other thing for you guys, just let me know. Some of you are probably sitting at home like, why is he reviewing this stuff so late? Honey, honey, I was asked. I literally offered and you guys said do it. So I did it, okay? Okay. But thank you guys so much once again and until I see you guys next time, bye babes. I look beautiful. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> I go to work every day, and I bust my ass, and I do everything for my subscribers, and I try to be the nicest person ever, and somehow my mascara still seems to fucking hate me. It smells like peaches, and honestly, can I get a hallelujah? Can I get an amen? Oh, I'm like sweating. I wish I was cool and hip like all the other kids, but I'm not. So if you want, so if you want to see today's tutorial using the sweet peach stuff, keep no bitch. By the way, my hair today, <laughs> Georgia, Georgia. Back. 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 Just an old sweet song keeps Georgia on my mind.
Come on, Billy Nelson, come through. But I don't wanna miss a thing. Even 